Good morning. I'm going to try really hard to stay working because I have stuff to do and I have a bad habit of just standing in front of you and talking. So I'm going to tell you the topic while I put my gloves on. The topic is treats. Do you treat your horse? Do you give your horse treats as incentive to perform? I do not. I do not condemn those who do. However, in my lesson program, I do not, nor do I support that being a part of what somebody else does in our lessons. I have a horse that will absolutely be so super distracted by treats that he cannot perform or he'll do what a lot of dogs do is they see the treat and they'll go through every trick they know. They'll sit, they'll lay down, they'll roll over, they'll beg, they'll dance, they'll do whatever. And, and yet you haven't even spoken a word. You've just taken out the treat. I don't want my horses to run through all their tricks, you know, because they just saw a, a mini carrot or something. Because I have one horse who's an absolute carrot fiend. And I, I don't even like giving him carrots in his bucket. I only give treats in their buckets. If they've been good, like if, if I had a really nice ride, one of the rewards I give my horse is I let him roll. I've let him roll since the day he was a baby. Um, I've had him since he was two months old. I don't care. I've done it. You can even ask people in the hunter jumper show barn that I used to keep my horse. I used to rent a barn on the property of a hunter and sh uh, jumper show barn. And literally the owner of the barn would be standing there and teaching a jumping lesson or teaching a, you know, a class or the horses are warming up or whatever. And I'd be finishing up my ride and I would go into the center of the arena, unsaddle my horse because my horses don't wear bridles. So he, he'd already have a, a halter on a rope halter. I ride in rope halters and reins and I would put my knee on the ground. My horse would be allowed right in front of me. You know, I don't, I don't let him loose. I allow him right in front of me to drop and roll. And, you know, whether it was um, unacceptable or not, I was never disciplined for it. And um, it's just that was my promise to my horse. So my horse always gets to roll. Uh, luckily, he's not some kind of uh, show horse where I, I take him to a show arena and, you know, tell the judge, wait, 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 wait. You know, he did a good job for me. I got to let him roll. Um, nothing like that. But. Uh, I definitely have that. So let's just say I couldn't let him roll for some reason. I always bring my horse back into the barn, put him in their stall, and then bring them a treat. I don't even have a treat waiting for them because that's different too because then it's just something that happens to just be in their bucket and they discovered it. I want them to know that they got something from me. But we often put too much emotion on giving them treats as if giving them a treat from you really matters. And I wrote a whole thing on, on treats and I might, um, put that into the link here or something, or I might link it, you know, to this video, but treats, your horse doesn't care where the treat comes from. The horse just cares about the treat. The horse doesn't care what the serving dish is, whether it's your hand or your bowl, you know, or their bucket. They just care about the treat and their ability to get their mouth on it. You know what I'm saying? So like that's another one, like I just did a thing about attaching human emotions to our horses. And that's another one that's very human emotion attached. Your horse does not have any emotions attached to you giving them a treat. If anything, they think you're a jerk because you haven't given it to them yet. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like they saw it. They saw it in your pocket. Why haven't you given it to me yet? And that's why horses tend to mug people. So anyway, I'm talking kind of fast because I really want this video to be able to be put up on Facebook without it being too long. Um, so I do not use treats as incentive to teach my horses something new or to ask my horse to do something that they know how to do. I use scratches. And what my point of this video really wasn't about treats. It was to say winter time is the best time, best time to teach something new to your horse. It's the best time to practice things that are hard for your horse because winter time, your horses are a little extra scratchy, a little extra itchy. Um, and you can really get them to want to perform for your time, you know, for you to scratch them, for your time, for your affection. You know, I would rather my horse crave my affection than the toy, than the treat that's in my pocket. You know what I'm saying? I would rather my horse be attracted and, and crave my affection. So the winter time is the absolute best time. You know, there's something in it for them. I call that, how, that's how they name their price. So if I scratch my horse on his withers and he starts responding, I'm like, all right, now I know your price. 
I promise to pay you that every time you give me an effort for what I'm going to work with you on. And when my horse performs properly or, or gives me a good effort, I will pay them that scratch that they said they like so much. That is a much healthier relationship you can have with your horse, in my opinion, in my opinion, than using treats. So, again, in my opinion, I don't want to get any backlash on that. You know, everybody has their opinion. Can't get my glove off.